Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. We're playing the Forgotten on Impossible Difficulty, as usual. I kinda gotta familiar myself, familiarize myself with what I did last episode. I think up here was the region that I... Yeah, that's... It's interesting, but... I'm not sure if I actually want to colonize that. Maybe we'll we'll check out this warm sand region because they use usually have a lot more dust available. And dust, if you didn't catch on by now, is one of the more important resources for the forgotten because uh, it allows us to research. Anyway, we have the uh, mole foundry really early, so that is a good thing. And we can even put everybody in production. Why are we growing so slowly? Mm, six turns. I want to get a settler, but... Six turns is just rather... Uh, that's a little... Uh, I don't know. Should we go for dust or should we go for... Yeah, I think I want to go for the Empire Mint first, but then we're going to get a Settler. Or, yeah, I think the Empire Mint's going to be it. Because we don't have any rivers anywhere, uh, except up here. We're not close to the sea, so the water-based dust bonuses with the Aquapolvistics are not that helpful. And the cultivation... I'll get that after the first winter, likely. So let's go for the Empire Mint. And uh, just queue that up here. Gonna be three turns for the Founders Memorial. Pretty good. And see if we can't find a region that is actually good enough to get colonized. What's with this one here? Well, at least there's some dust if we settle there. Mm, some dust... And uh, also, there's a... Uh, this would be not a bad triangle to make. Like so. But then the usefulness of this region is kind of exhausted. Let's see if we can't find something more appealing up here. Let's move into the desert. Uh, there. At least we'll find some ruins there. And some rivers. So that's always good. And some dust and gold. Nice. Right, let's move over that. And let's see. Well, at least each tile here provides us with dust. So that is uh, more... Oh, right. Uh, more interesting than this region, for starters, because there's no... Well, I wouldn't say no dust, because there could be some dust down here. Maybe this spot here can be good. I don't know. Uh, now, let's use... Because our settler can actually... Ah, I wish we could get rid of the weapon, because when will he ever fight? But uh, We're going to give him the improved movement, so he's a little... Quicker on his feet. Doesn't make him that much more expensive. And we can actually use him to come around the coastline like that. Here's a cold region. What's that? Oh, there's not even... There's nothing on it. That That's a, actually a first for me. <laughs> to see tiles that just simply provide you with nothing. Wow. Way to be a harsh game. Why can't I move up there? I don't know. Can I move around like so? Yeah, I can. Yeah, this region looks... Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This looks to be rather interesting. But we are bordering... Who is that? I forgot. Bordering another empire. I do not like that. I want to wait with making contact with the enemy as long as humanly possible or forgottenly possible I don't even know if they are human 
Tribe is informed that the Kidnap Brothers, blah blah blah, which has a marker, destroy it. Torkashi village. Okay. Not sure if we're gonna get around to that. Nothing of interest. Come on, I even have the uh, the tech for for the thing. Ah, whatever. Mm, yeah, let's go around there. How's this region? Well, we do have the Black Earth, and kind of a... Mm, it's not bad. Botanical Garden. Not a lot of industry, actually. None at all. But there's food all around, so that is... That is helpful. Two turns. Can we bring that down to one? No, we can't. So let's just produce the food. How are you? Let's grab that. 30 dust. Very nice. Yeah, this region is actually... Uh, it has the right anomalies for us and the right layout, but it's just that ruin kind of ruins it. So I could potentially settle here, but then we don't have food, and yeah, it's not that great. So, alright. And also, we're gonna border the, the enemy, which I do not want to happen early. I want to... Like, these guys should be at war first, before we actually want to have a border adjacent to them. Alrighty, so uh, let us... Go down here a little bit. You have an interesting quest for me. Gift 10... Oh, man! These quests are starting to really annoy me, because, like... They suck so badly. Ah, so there's that Torgeshi village we're supposed to... to attack. Let's see, is there a good... Hmm, so let's spy a little more in that direction. But that looks interesting, to say the least. But I think this region and this region here are safe for us to colonize. Um, well, there could be enemies down here. But uh, they look... doesn't look like it. Looks rather, rather safe to me, so let's... Uh, Let's hope it is like that, because then we could just leave those two for later and try and establish a front up here. Uh, actually, close that Skype thing. Okay, uh, let's move you down there. Nope, can't move here. Oh, hello. Hello. That, on the other hand, is a rather interesting region. It's small. But it's also awesome. If we, yeah, if we put a, a thing, well, we'll miss out on that. We get this and this, though. That's 6, 8, 10, 12 production. And uh, actually a decent amount of dust. Plus, we're gonna get access to a lot more. Very helpful. Okay, I'm gonna keep that like so. Now let's see how good this region actually is. Maybe there's something hidden down here. Nope. Oh yes, there is. Wow. So we could settle like here? Or up here actually. Yeah, so this is, this is a good region to settle on. Let's say like that. And I think I wanna spy up there a little more. Why am I always saying spying? Like, I'm <laughs> already... Uh, I wanna just um, scout up there a little more. Okay, nothing to do here. Not much here. Hmm, I need to start working on my first settler soon, though. Let's walk around the top there. Wow, 
This is a pretty sick region. Well, there's at least one, two, three, four, five anomalies. Just one region. Wow. Uh, that that's good. That is pretty good. I think I want a settler after nine turns. I don't want a settler after nine turns. I mean, I want a settler after the Empire Mint. Uh, can I? Should I? Yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> yep, that annoys me. You made the right assumption there. Okay, so there's another Dorgashi village. Two of them. And there's a lot of anomalies here. Huh, that's rather interesting. Yeah, but we can't make it. Oh, God! Game, you're really screwing with my head. So this here is a really good concentration of anomalies for us. Well, we won't make use of the science bonus, but everything else. But, of course, it's messed up by a ruin and a village, so we can't actually triangle there. is rather bad. Anyway, let's get that third population going. Can we bring you down to one? Oh, like so is enough already. Nice. Uh, let's actually work on the dust because the next thing in the queue is a settler, which yeah, will stop our food production anyways. Okay, this here looks to be very interesting. I just have to be careful not to be found out by the whatever the green one was. God, I'm so forgetful. Like, <laughs> should have paid attention to that. Is that a forest tile? Oh, whatever. 10 gold. So now we have 20 gold. And another ruin. Oh, and we could parlay with you. 10 glass steel. Yeah. Why don't you just lean over and die? Um, six turns, though. That kind of hurts. The AI probably already has a settler or is uh, pretty close to getting one. Five. Five. Okay. So... Also need some influence. Ah, the dust is more important early on, though. Well, let's see. Ah, there's five glass steel. Five more, and we can complete that ridiculous quest over there. If I want to do that, actually. Let's have a look. Hmm. So this region could... Well, there's a lot of dust available. And a lot of anomalies. Most of them provide a science bonus, though. That That is a... We don't need that, but that is not the most problematic thing about it. Oh, another 30 dust. Thank you very much, game. Uh, the most problematic thing is that uh, if I do not take it, and the AI takes this ridiculous region. It's going to be a lot stronger. Because they actually make use of the uh, added science bonus. I don't think there's much I could actually do. I think most of them... Yeah, they already settled somewhere, I think. Because they do have 88 points. Anyway, is there any tech I need right now? Not really. Uh, the wine would be nice. Mm, we could go for the gold. Gain more... A little bit more production, but... From the, uh, from the happiness bonus, but I don't think that really matters that much right now. Let's see. Maybe we can get a good quest somewhere. Ah, okay, yeah. 
That's the definition of a useless quest right there. What do you have? 80 dusts. And we have a minimum of 3 manufacturing units. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Alright, so let's go down here, see if there's anything we can settle on. And the hero, I'm gonna level her to be a spy. And to be a spy, these guys, well, are obviously qualified the best. Because for one, they get spying 4. All other heroes get spying level 2. So they gain infiltration points a lot faster. And also more experience. And secondly, their skills kind of very helpful for spying. Uh, for one, the managed torpor, which uh, I think also the uh, the wild walker heroes also have that. It just makes them flexible, that you can switch them through their assignments faster. Minus two and minus two, so actually you could switch them around every other turn if you get that skill to level two, which is especially helpful for spies. Uh, but secondly, and most importantly, the double or nothing, because uh, that will improve your seniority bonus to 50 and then to 100%, and that is actually pretty, pretty good, because once you perform a, an, an action, a spying action in your, or espionage action in your, in the city that your hero is in, you'll gain, if you're successful with it, you'll gain seniority points, and that will make you gain spy or espionage levels even faster. Um, but we'll we'll talk about that later. Let's just assure you, let me just assure you that this ability is really good. Up here, stealth for all, that's helpful if you are not the forgotten yourself. So if you're gonna get a forgotten hero and you want to have a stealth army, you could get one and level them up to that through maybe this way here, you know. Get the attack bonus and then go up to a ghost force. That is a possible way of skilling that. One step ahead is also useful. Kind of, I don't know. You probably don't want to need it ever because uh, <laughs> it will it will reduce the severity of the negative effects when you get caught spying. But then again, you don't want to get caught spying, so it kind of. Oh, no, I don't want to. I want to apply that. Righty. Let's uh, see what's hidden in that corner over there. This here looks interesting as well. Let's, ah, well, never mind that. We kind of have to go around there, because it looks like maybe up here there's some uh, spot where we could to our first first settlement. Though it's likely gonna be uh, Gandray. And we're gonna go up the coast through Yun Yunari. Maybe find a good spot there. Uh, what else? Definitely gonna need that soon, though not yet. Yeah, winter is around the door. A sewer system is going to be really helpful. The aquapolvistics, not yet, but they might be helpful. I think we're going to go for the pit mine. Don't need the titanium and glass steel just yet, though I might be a good idea. Oh yeah, we do need that, because we do want the... Uh, do want the augmented augmented extractors. Maybe there's a second luxury resource down here, I don't know. Could be. Could be. Alright, six turns for the... Oh gosh, more anomalies. I think I found my first city. This here looks pretty good. It's not adjacent to the enemy right away. And it has a lot of food and production, just no dust whatsoever, which is okay, I guess. I'll already... It's not... I mean, it's not good, but it's not like we have a choice. So how do I scout that? Probably around... Uh, no, let's go here first. Go like 
that. Why are you such a smart ass? Let just Okay. Fine. <laughs> Have it your way. Damn pathfinding. Ah, that's what I hoped for. Alright, so maybe. Oh, what is that? Uh, how long? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna go for that quest. Cause that's a really good one. The uh, the last for loot. Oh, uh, where is it? So many quests and so much crap. Like, look at what we got here. Bestow ten spice, ten quicksilver. Well, this here is good. Two extractors. Um, then we got a kill, which gives you more science, which is really uh, not useful for us. Then we got a gift ten die, because why would we gift dies ever? We need that. Um, bring back ten glass steel, sure. Ten glass steel and ten titanium. Return to the village with three minor factions. We're not gonna get minor faction units, ever. And then at least we got the lust for loot, so I do want to pursue that. That's one of the one of the best quests you can actually get. So definitely gonna go for that. Um, yeah, there's that, there's that. Three turns. So we have to decide on a region in three turns. But I think we can do that. And we're already behind pretty far. What can I say? Yeah, I think this here is it. Probably gonna settle here. And then triangle up like so. That's again not a good region for dust, but we can get dust through other means. The Empire Mint and through working it with our population. So hopefully that will be... Uh yeah, and we also will scout to two other regions by moving our settler there. But I have to decide on the, the next tech as well, so let's see. Let's go for the open pit mine and pray. Uh, <laughs> and build the wine extractor. Because that's going to be really helpful. Plus 30 happiness is, uh, is a lot. It is quite a lot. Alright, we'll last in points as usual. That's what you get when you play against the cheating AIs. It has glass still in here as well. Very. All right, I'm going to use these guys to, uh, well, let's first see. Hmm. Nope. <sighs> yeah, not the best start, folks, I got to say. Um, our quests suck. Our, well, the regions around us are a uh, freaking amazing. Like, if I was playing any other race than the Forgotten, I would just... Well, I, I, I don't want to say what I will do to myself, but it, it really would make me very happy. Uh, very, very happy indeed. There's a region with four anomalies right here. There's one with five, and they're even accessible. And it's just... Here is anomalies galore. Well, this region here is kind of weird, so you have anomalies, but then you can't really use them, because you can't triangle up there. But yeah, overall it's it's really good, just not for the Forgotten, because we don't have any dust anywhere. Forgotten or Broken Lords, they would probably uh, suffer pretty hard here as well. At least they would have this cold region next to them, which is what the Broken Lords really want. All right, we'll see. We'll make it work, though. Hopefully, kind of. Um, not in this episode anymore, though. This one is at an end now. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, again, suggestions in the comments, please. If you like or dislike, click the like button or dislike with a reason. There's a comment box. You can put that in. Scream at me. Call me names. It's all fine. I can take it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just enjoy your day and see you around for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.